हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ऑल सब्जेक्ट इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग चैप्टर इन्वेंट्री कंट्रोल टॉपिक प्रोबेबलिस्टिक मॉडल सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ टॉपिक व्हिच नेम एज प्रोबेबलिस्टिक मॉडल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट look at this graph students in this graph i represent the all the process of probabilistic model on x axis i represent as a time on y axis i represent as a inventory level in units basically the probabilistic model represent the real world condition we present a real world condition in which the demand rate and lead time is fluctuate fluctuating or we can say is that the variable here in the probabilistic model the demand rate and lead time are the fluctuating or variable so due to the fluctuating or variable demand rate and lead time we need to carry the safety stock throughout the year in this model the safety stock carries throughout year throughout year okay student due to the changes of the demand rate we need to carry the safety stock throughout the year look at this graph at time is equals to 0 our organization is build up the inventory instantaneously and reaches to the maximum inventory level q at this point the maximum inventory level is capital q after after this in our organization the inventory item is consumed with the consumption rate is small d and reaches to the reorder level and reorder level is a point at which a new order is placing okay after that further the inventory level is consumed and reaches to this point when the inventory is reaches to this point further the inventory is built up and reaches to the capital q maximum inventory level after this point further the inventory level is consumed with the consumption rate is small d and reaches to the reorder level but here after that point the demand rate is changes and vary and the demand rate is changed with the d1 rate d1 rate is greater than the d rate so so the inventory item is consumed faster than the faster than the d rate so here the safety stock here the safety stock is used to consume the inventory item so here we see that Uh, with the demand rate d1 this curve is reaches in the safety stock so it is represent as a safety stock is used to consume a inventory item when the demand rate is changes so further at this point the inventory is built up and reaches to at this point because here the safety stock is used to consume the inventory so here at this point it is a not reaches the maximum inventory q level and further after that the process is done so students clear to all when the demand rate is changes and increase increases so the safety stock inventory item is used due to this safety stock our organization is not suffer a loss the shortage or in the previous session we discuss about the shortage cost the shortage cost is a cost when the organization is not able to satisfy or not able to fulfill the requirement of the customer and it is a suffer a loss is known as a shortage or stock out cost but here the due to the safety stock our organization is not suffer a loss clear to all student this model is represent the real world condition where the demand rate and lead time are fluctuating and variable this point is discussed in the previous slide in the graph clear to all the demand and rate and lead time in a probabilistic model are fluctuating and variable okay in this model we need to carry the safety stock to prevent a stock out during a adverse condition okay students in this model we need to carry a safety stock throughout year to prevent the loss which is suffer through the stock out the inventory or to prevent the loss due to the shortage or stock out of the inventory clear to all okay
factors encouraging higher safety stroke what is a factor which is encouraging the higher safety stroke to maintain the higher safety stroke in our organization first point is that when the demand rate and lead time variation are more and fluctuating students if your demand rate and lead time variation are more and more fluctuating so we need the more safety stock in our organization okay students so we need the more safety stock in our organization second point when the inventory holding cost is very less if your inventory holding cost is less so our organization easily to maintain the higher safety stock okay students third point when the loss due to stock out is very high if the loss due to stock out is very high let's take one example if the customer come our organization and placing an order but our organization is not able to fulfill the requirement to fulfill the order of the customer due to the stock out of the inventory so he suffer the loss and this loss is very high so our organization decided to need to uh, maintain the higher safety stock okay student so if your loss due to the stock out is very high so you maintain the higher safety stock in our organization fourth one to provide the better customer satisfaction okay due to the stock out of inventory our customer satisfaction is not better it is not maintain the good but due to the higher safety stock we maintain the customer satisfaction to fulfill the requirement of customer at particular time okay students clear to all what is the factor of encouraging the higher safety stock okay let's move in next slide in the previous session in economic order quantity model we know that the reorder level is lead time into demand but here the probabilistic model the reorder level is average demand during a lead time plus safety stock average demand during a lead time plus safety stock here the reorder level is lead time into demand plus safety stock but in the previous eoq model reorder level is lead time into demand but here the reorder level is lead time into demand plus safety stock average inventory here the average inventory is q by 2 plus safety stock from the figure this is your figure this is a safety stock okay and this one this is your the inventory level q so average inventory is how much it is a q by 2 plus this safety stock is your average inventory so average inventory is q by 2 plus safety stock in the probabilistic model there are the two type of model the first one is a demand profit model and second one is a service level model so first we are discuss the demand profit model demand profit model in this model there are some terminology which are associated with this model so first discuss this terminology capital d is a demand s is a supply p is a profit per unit l is a loss per unit if a demand is greater than supply if demand is more than supply so our organization is not able to fulfill the demand of the customer due to the stock out of our inventory so our organization suffer a losses here d minus s d minus s number of units are not able to supply our organization okay students here the d minus s units are not able to supply our organization are not able to supply this units due to the stock out okay so our organization suffer a losses with d minus s unit into p if for example if our organization able to supply this number of unit so 
our organization suffer a profit but here at this condition our organization are not able to supply this units so he suffer a losses of d minus s into p is suffer a losses clear to all if the demand is greater than supply so our organization has suffer a losses of d minus s into p clear to all students okay if the supply is greater than demand supply is greater than demand so s minus d units into l this is a loss which is suffer our organization our organization suffer a loss of s minus d into l due to the supply is greater than the demand clear to all student if the demand is greater than supply so d minus s into p is loss of our organization if the supply is greater than demand so s minus d into l is a loss of our organization okay in this model the demand rate is uncertain and decision is based upon single order in this model we know that the demand rate is uncertain and decision based upon a single order in it is apply for perishable items like vegetable fruits and flowers okay for purchasing of the vegetables fruits and flowers and storing of this perishable item we apply the demand profit model in order to maximize our profit we select the ordering quantity s in a such a manner in order to maximize our profit we select the ordering quantity s in a such a manner p s minus 1 is less than p upon p plus l is less than equals to the p of s it is a very important relationship please remember this relationship where the p s minus 1 is a cumulative probability of the demand for s minus 1 units what is a p s minus 1 is a cumulative probability of a demand for s minus 1 units okay friends in the next topic we will discuss about the question so clear the all the concept of this formula okay what is a p of s p of s is a cumulative probability of demand for s unit it is a cumulative probability of demand for s unit the second formula in order to maximize our profit we select the ordering quantity in a such a manner so this formula is also applicable if the cb and ch holding cost or shortage cost is given in the question so we can apply the this formula p of s minus 1 is less than cb upon cb plus ch is less than equals to the p of s where p s minus 1 is a cumulative probability of demand for s minus 1 units and ps is a cumulative probability of demand for s units remember this two formula clear to all thank you so much for watching to be continue in next topic in next topic we will discuss about question on demand profit model